Hello, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna see what's useful to know when we're traveling. Let's get started right away. Hello, my name is Bridget and I'm your English teacher and welcome to Do You Speak English? Today we will have a very fun lesson. We are going to see the family, the body parts, and much more. Let's start with the family. Let's give them names so it's easier. Here we have Mike, the father. There's the mother. We'll call her Kate. And you have two children, a little girl and a little boy. Let's call them Zoe and Matt, like my children. We have the grandmother, the one that cooks cookies, and the grandfather, the one that tells you very interesting stories. Now, this is the mother, this is the father, the grandmother, the grandfather. This is a boy and a girl, but it is their son and their daughter. Their son, Kate's son, Kate's daughter. Mike's son, Mike's daughter. The grandmother, the grandfather. This is their grandchildren. They have two grandchildren. Now let's see if you can remember the family members. Mike is the father. This is the grandfather. This is the grandmother. Kate is the mother. Matt is their son. And Zoe is their daughter. Let's look at that one more time. Try to guess it before me. Mike, father, grandfather. grandmother and Kate is the mother. Zoe is their daughter and Matt is their son. Now let's say that this is not Mike's first wife. Supposing that Kate is not the mother of the children. She got remarried with Mike. Then this would be her stepchildren. A recomposed family, you call the children your stepchildren. So one more time before we go to body parts, you've got the father, the grandfather, the grandmother, the mother, the daughter, and the son. Now all these nice people have body parts. Let's look at them right now. Feet, your feet. If you only had one, it would be a foot. You would replace the E's with O's, a foot. But when there's two, it's called feet. You've got your face. And all this is your head, but this is your face. At the end of your feet, you have toes. Here is an arm. Now I think this man is very strong. Your shoulder, this is your shoulder. Here we have hands, 
your hands. What you write with is your hands. Legs. Now I think these are women's legs. Legs. And you've got your knee. The knee. One more time. Feet. Face. Toes. Arms. Shoulder. Hands. Legs. Knees. Let's take the answers off and see how you do. What is this? Feet. If there were only one, we would say foot. What is this? Yes, face. At the end of your feet, you have toes. Arms. Yes, shoulder. Hands. At the end of your hands, you have fingers. That is a finger. Legs. And knee. Very good. Let's try it one more time. Two is feet. One is foot. Face. Toes. Arms. Shoulder, hands, you can clap your hands, legs, and your knee. We'll put back the answers, look at it one more time. You have your feet. your face, your toes, your arms, your shoulder, your hands, your legs, and your knees. So if you got all these answers, Give yourself a hand. Okay, let's look at the face. What do you have on your head? You have hair. You have eyes, so you can see. You can see with your eyes. This is an eyebrow. Over your eye, you have an eyebrow. What you use to smell, you smell with your nose. You hear, when I speak, you hear with your ear. Now I don't have one, but this is a mustache. Your mouth. Around your mouth you have lips and teeth. Now the teeth, same thing like feet. If there's one, you say tooth. If there's more than one, you say teeth. So you've got the mustache, the mouth, a beard. And this is your 
chin. Right here is your chin. So let's look at this one more time. This is your hair. This is blonde hair, like me. This is your eyes, so you can see. On top is your eyebrow. Your nose, so you can smell. Your ears, so you can hear when people speak. A mustache. Your mouth. A beard. And finally, your chin. Your chin. Let's take off the answers and see how you do. Your hair. Your eyes. Your eyebrow. Your nose. Your ear. A mustache. A mouth so you can speak. A beard. And a chin. Let's do it one more time. Your hair. Yes, your eye. Your eyebrow. Your nose. Your ear. A mustache. A mouth. So you can smile. A beard. And finally, Yes, a chin. Let's put back the answers. Your hair, your eye, your eyebrow, your nose, your ear, a mustache, a mouth. A beard and a chin. I hope you did well on body parts. Now let's move on. Now let's take a look at some directions. Here we have a big blue bus. This is the front of the bus. This is the back of the bus. And this is the side of the bus. The front of the bus. The back of the bus. And the side of the bus. Let's take away the answers and see how you do. The front. the back, and that's right, the side. One more time with the answers. You have the front of the bus, the back of the bus, and the side of the bus. Let's take a look at a classroom now and see how you do. Supposing this is Matt, right here. In front of Matt, there's the teacher. He's in front of Matt. Supposing we have Peter here. Peter is in back of Matt. And we have Supposing here we have Tony. 
Tony is beside Matt. So where is the teacher? He's in front of Matt. Peter is in back of Matt. And Tony is beside Matt. The teacher is, that's right, in front of Matt. Peter is, that's right, in back of Matt. And Tony is beside Matt. Now let's take a look at some of the things we have outside. Here we have grass. This grass is very green. It must have a lot of sunshine and water because it's very green. Here we have a backyard. Kids love to play in the backyard. In this backyard, you see you have a table and chairs. Maybe you can have breakfast in your backyard on a sunny day. Here you have a tree. A forest has many trees. Here we have a mountain. What is the highest mountain in the world? It's Mount Everest. This is a mountain. You can climb a mountain. Maybe not Mount Everest, but you could climb some mountains. This is a fence. A fence is what separates you from your neighbor. You have a fence. They say that a fence makes for good neighbors. Here we have the ground. Outside is the ground. If you're inside, it's the floor, but if you're outside, it's the ground. Let's look at this one more time. We have the grass, the backyard, a tree, mountains, a fence, the ground. Let's take away the answers and see how you do. What do we have here? The grass, that's right. The backyard. A tree. There's no leaves on the tree. It's probably fall. Mountains. Vents. The ground. Very good. Let's do it one more time. Grass. Backyard. tree, mountains, a fence, and the ground. Very good. Let's put back the answers. We've got the grass, the backyard, a tree, Mountains that you can climb. A fence to separate you from your neighbor. And the ground. Like I said, the ground is outside. Inside, you have a floor, I hope. Now let's go to some very important prepositions. Anything that's a building will be at, except if you're going somewhere. Because if you're going somewhere, you're going to. But if you're not going, it's at. For example, 
the bank. It's at the bank that they keep your money. At school. It is at school that you learn how to speak English. At the hospital. When you are sick, where do you go? You go at the hospital. This is a coffee shop. There is coffee at the coffee shop or tea. So one more time. At the bank is where they keep your money. At school is where you learn English. At the hospital. There are doctors at the hospitals. At the coffee shop, you go with a friend to have coffee. Let's make some sentences. I am at the bank getting some money. I am at school until 4.30 this afternoon. I am at the hospital because I am sick. I am at the coffee house having a coffee with a friend. If I were to say going to, I would say I am going to the bank. I am going to school today. I am going to school today because I am not at the hospital. I am well now. And I am going to the coffee shop. Only when you have go that you put to. If you don't have go, it's at the bank, at school, at the hospital, and at the coffee house. For all buildings, you will use at. Now let's take a look at another important preposition. Anything that is geography is in. I live in Morin Heights. Where do you live? My producer lives in St. Adele. I live in Canada. So anything that is geography is with in. Some people live in Alaska where it's very cold. Again, the difference when you use go, you have to use to. I am going to Montreal. But if you don't have go, it's in. We are in Quebec. Where do you live? Do you live in Montreal? Do you live in Ontario? So for geography, we use in. Now let's take a look at a final very important preposition. Anything that's electronic will use on. And you don't have the go factor here because you don't go to electronics. So anything that's electronic in your house will use on. There's a good show on TV. There is a good song on the radio. I am on my cell phone. You kids spend too much time on your cell phones. And on your computer. Here we have a laptop. So the preposition for anything electronic is on. There's a good show on TV. There's a good song on the radio. You are on your cell phone chatting with a friend. Or you are doing homework on the computer. Now let's take a look at the three prepositions that we saw. 
starting with the at. We have at the bank, at school, at the hospital, which I hope you never go, and at the coffee house. Next, we had the in. Anything that is geography is in. I live in Morin Heights. I live in Alaska. And finally, we have on. Anything electronic will be on. On TV. Do you watch a lot of TV? On the radio. I listen to the radio in my car. On the cell phone. And finally, on the computer. This puts an end to today's lesson. I hope that you enjoyed it. And make sure you tune in again to see Do You Speak English? Fier de faire rayonner notre communauté.